This is example three of chapter two, and for this example, you are given a particle size distribution curve, and you are asked to obtain the percentage of gravel, sand, and fines using the USGS system. And so, to obtain the percent of percentage of these different types of soils, uh, first you need to know uh, what are their particle size ranges. So remember for USCS system, so focus on this bottom one here, gravels are basically particles uh, partic that have particle sizes between uh, 76.2 and 4.75. Sands are basically particles uh, smaller than 4.75 and greater than 0.075, and fines are smaller than 0.075. So that's the um, these three values are the threshold values be, uh, between different types of soils, and then um, come back to this uh, particle size distribution curve. First, if you look at the largest particle in this soil sample, so the horizontal axis, the largest particle is only two millimeter, and remember that gravel is anything larger than four point seven five millimeter, and so 4.75 millimeter is right here. So I'm, I've marked it on this graph. So that means 100% of the soils uh, have particles that are smaller than 4.75. So if we put size of 4.75 millimeter, and the percent finer or percent pathing uh, passing for this soil is 100 percent. Okay, so the largest soil particle size in this soil is only two. So 100 percent of soil particles are smaller than 4.75. Uh, this means the percentage of gravel. So if I say gravel is, remember gravel is anything larger than 4.75. So for this case. Is a hundred percent minus hundred percent finer than four point seven five, so it's zero percent. So there's no gravel in this soil sample. And then the next uh, value uh, you should pay attention to is that threshold value between sand and fines, which is 0.075. So I've marked that on this graph as well. So this uh, this particle diameter 0.075 separates sand from fines. So for size of 0.075 millimeter, the percentage finer, the percent finer is, if you look at this graph here, so you start from 0.075, so you start from the horizontal axis, and then you find the corresponding y-axis, so that's your corresponding um, percent finer. So I'm doing this by hand, but when you uh, work when you work on this example, make sure you have a straight edge ruler. So this is your percent finer corresponding to this 0.075 millimeter particle diameter. So this value is about 62 percent. Okay. So the percent finer corresponding to this 0.075 is 62 percent. Um, again, recall the definition of fines. Fines are particles that are smaller than 0.075. So this means the percent of fines in this soil is 62%. Okay. And finally, the percent of sand. So the percent of sand basically is the particle size, the percent of particles in between 0.075 and 4.75. So for this example, okay, percent of sand is simply 100% minus the percent of gravel minus the percent of fines. Okay. So what's left are basically sands. Okay. And so it's 100% minus gravel is 0% minus fines, which is 62%. So the percent of sand is 38%. Okay. 
So that's uh, how you read a percent of percentage of gravel, sand, and fines given a particle size distribution curve.